She has won over 2,500 ribbons for her delicious baking, and she is here today to make Yulika, which is a traditional Scandi Scandinavian Christmas bread. Please welcome back to our home, Blue Ribbon Baker, Marjorie Johnson. Yes. Yes. So good to be with you. Uh, Jill has stuck around because she couldn't resist having this dessert. <laughs> My beautiful wife, Kelly. I yeah, no she's way so I pretty. I no way, way better oh, happens. Look at all here. those gorgeous women. Oh, right back at you, Marjorie. <laughs> we learned from the best from you. <laughs> so my wife, Kelly, is actually a pretty great baker herself. And um, so there's always baking going on, especially yeah. around the holidays at our house. And our kids love to get involved. But I would love oh, to get yeah. more involved. Yeah, so I'm glad we're should, doing this right now. Because it's such fun for everybody to be in the kitchen. I love That's it. Right. I love it. So, um, so this is a recipe that you've made for years and years and years. Years, right. And it makes a great uh, Christmas gift. Yes, Why is it that? Does. Well, you know, you can make it in two different sizes and everybody's busy at Christmas anyway. Right. So just think how nice it is to get this little gift of, and then, then when you slice it, slice into about 16 little pieces, so Love there's it. quite a bit. There's some for everybody. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Should, we, should we get into making? Yes, okay. Okay, so already we've got... Yeah, we got the yeast proofing in it. has proofed, and you can see it bubbles up, and it's foamy, yeah. Sure. So that is already proofed. And, and proofed yeah. is we've put... Yeah, you put the water in, then the yeast, and proof it, and that's what we've done. Okay. It's alive and growing, yes? Yeah, it is. And oh, if... yeah, it's a growing thing, yeah. So let's start getting our ingredients Okay, in so put in the dry milk, dry and I'll milk. tell you about it later why I do. That's dry milk. Okay. This is dry milk yeah, as yeah. opposed and to... Yeah, and then honey. Okay, okay and then honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And go. honey's so good because it draws moisture from the air, so your bread stays nice and uh, moist. And then butter. Butter goes in. Yeah, right. Okay. Fourth cup butter, of butter. Butter at room temperature? Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, that's room temperature, so it gets nice and soft. Okay. Yeah, and then two eggs. Two eggs, and they don't have to be beaten ahead of time? No, because that beater is just going to beat like sure everything. Sure is. And then uh, uh, some, oh, some salt. Okay. And then uh, ground cardamom seed. Ground cardamom. Yeah. Mm, that smells great. That, that's ground beautiful. Oh, good. That's such a good flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so the, the powdered milk as opposed to liquid milk. Yeah, and see, you have to have the milk room temperature. Well, if you heat it on the stove and you're not watching, boy, it just boils all mm -hmm. over. Sure. And then it gets too hot, then you gotta wait till it's cool. So it's so convenient. So with the dry milk, you can yeah, control the temperature. But the reason I go with this, I've won so many ribbons, and if it isn't broke, don't try to fix it. No. That's right. I'd say you're doing exactly something right. right. Yeah. yeah. Larger. Yeah. Now we blend so, it. Okay, the... now we'll start the beater going. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. We forgot to put in the flour. Yeah, this oh. is what, oh boy. I know. That's this is where it gets really messy. Crazy. Yeah. One and okay. the Yeah, and so if you put it in. Uh, all of it? Yeah, all okay. of it. And if you have it, yeah, other than low, boy, flour is just going to go all over. Right, or you could just take a towel yeah, and cover right. it up. Just like yeah. that? You like know what I do, Marjorie? Yeah, yeah, Scott, Marjorie. Marjorie. Like this. Yeah, towel. Yes. Or like this, put yeah. a towel over, yeah. just like Faster that. Faster than that, or is that perfect? Yeah, let's see. We can have it a little faster. I guess it's not going to go out. There you go. Yeah. It should be okay. Right. Now we can go right. <laughs> yeah. And Marjorie, after we've added all the flour, how long do we need to let it rise? Oh, uh, well, once we get it in the bowl, right. you let it rise to double in bulk. Like this? Yeah. And so when you put your finger in in the middle like that, it'll make two holes. If it closes up, it's not risen. Okay. Uh -huh. And then oh. you can kind of eye it. So sometimes I put it in a straight one, and I put a piece of tape there and measure, and then it has to be up more, yeah, when I do it, yeah. So do you put all the yummy stuff in before or after it's risen? Oh, wait a minute, we didn't. We didn't put all that other stuff in there. <laughs> all right, let's do that real fast. We're not doing We're so good. We're gonna put this off to the side. Okay, but no, let's put it in. That's okay, you in? already did. Yeah, you know what, they get the idea. Put the nuts and the raisins okay. in there. Put them all they in. get the yeah, idea. Yeah. Scott, you messed it up. I did. <laughs> should I keep the mixture going while we're putting these things yeah. in? Right. Should, it, should the mixture be going? Yeah, we can. So Marjorie, it. Scott's first time. This is my first time. I'm actually surprised he's not eating those. I got so excited. Am I allowed to eat these at a time? He loves the cherries. Yeah. Those are actually pretty okay. great. What are those, Marjorie? Yeah. What are those that are? Yeah, what are these? Are they? That, that, we put in raisins and then uh, walnuts and then uh, cherries and uh, red and green cherries and that was a mixed uh, uh, candy fruit. Yeah. Oh my okay. goodness! So all that mixes together, yeah, yes, now. and eventually, it eventually like it'll this. get like this. Yeah. And, and then so then, okay. So what we do, we'll put. 
Yeah, so then what we have to do, um, so kind of we, punch I love that. Yeah, punch, punch it down, down a little bit. Oh. And then you, you can decide. See, this is a five by seven pan. Out. Okay. It's a good pan, too. And because, see, it raises. And then once it's in the pan, yes. you raise it till it's double. So uh, depending on how you want, you, yeah, you put it So you it punch it there. down. <laughs> yeah. You punch it down and let it rise a bit. Yeah, and, and, and see, once it gets in there, you don't punch it. You okay. punch it here, but put it in. Yeah. And just let it rise so it's double. And then you bake it at 350 for 25 minutes or so. Great. But always check it before the time because ovens vary and you don't want to get too brown. And if it isn't quite done, cover it with foil so it doesn't get too brown. Okay, so should we do our magic reveal? Where we yeah, see? let's see. Yeah, we better show them maybe you have a good time. Let's yeah. See. Sure. Marjorie, let's see. while you're doing that, yeah, while you're right. putting it in the pan, yeah. <clears throat> Marjorie, can you tell me how you learned to, while you're putting it in there, can you tell me how you learned to make these delicious yeasted breads? Oh, my mother. Oh, yes. Yeah. My mother was this fabulous baker, and, oh, she loved to bake, and I inherited it right oh, from her. God. Yeah, That's so you pan one. it down, and then you can go it just to make, see, get a nice shaped loaf, yeah, right? There you go. And then, then you can put it, let's see. Let's see, let's put see. Put it in the bigger pan. Oh, well, yeah, I need more on that. It's too big for that one. Here, I'll yeah. add a little bit to this one. <laughs> yeah. Put a little yeah, more. Yeah, let's put a little more, a little in. more yeah. in. Yeah, Marjorie, put right. it to work. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> there, now. Scott's learning anything, Marjorie. Yeah, yeah, Marjorie. Right. Right. That's about that down. Way. Yeah. All right, so then that goes And then, the then that rises. And see, a smaller piece would go in there. And then, yeah, and then you put it in the oven to yes. bake it for 25 minutes. And yeah, so put it in there. And here's our here's our finished loaf. Yeah, yeah. And so here's. The you know, now Scott, I don't know if you learned anything, but I know since Kelly's here, <laughs> Kelly learned how to do this. She's got all the tips down. To perfection. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly's not the only you know, one who's a great uh, baker think, in the house. Uh, yeast spread is hard. But the one thing is the yeast. Don't kill it. Be yeah. sure, invest in an instant thermometer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think they're maybe like $10 now. Uh, and you see, if you don't, it'll last forever. And so then it tells exactly. And if you want to taste that instant thermometer, get some water to boiling. And water boils at 212, okay. or not in high, you know whatever it is. And then you know if it's working. But in, you know, that's a and so idea. then. And then will you know, and then you let that water go to 105 and 115, and uh, yeah, and then you're set. Because Marjorie, if you killed the yeast, you've wasted everything. Yeah. What a disappointment. Can yeah. you tell us how to make this delicious icing? Yes, we, can we should ice, ice that, because this is yeah, delicious. Right. Oh yeah, let's ice it. Okay. So. Yeah, you can pour it over, and then we'll, right. Yeah, let's you pour some is over. Is it royal, royal frosting? Let's see if it'll come it? out. Wait a minute, I need a. You stir it up. No, what is that, Marjorie? Well, it doesn't quite. Yeah, so yeah. listen. Yeah, so let's put it on. And yeah. what's in the icing? Is that? Yeah, it should drip. If it drips down the side, okay. fine. Just like that? Yeah. yeah. And then you take those little red and green cherries okay. and those walnuts and decorate it. Yeah. So just sprinkle oh, these over the yeah, top. Yeah, right. Kids yeah. Do too. I know. Fun kid yeah. That's that beautiful, beautiful, Marjorie. Several fruits and nuts, yeah. This is delicious. That? What did you guys it's say? Oh, so good. Yes. So good, yes. Thank you, Marjorie.